Hi, my name is Amber Thomas. Welcome back to the Hiram College Network. I'm alongside coach Michael Krakens of the women's soccer team for the 2018 season preview. So how are you feeling today, coach? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Very Saw good. you guys out there practicing, yeah. getting some work in, yeah. preseason. Yeah. So going into season four, how are you feeling? What is your philosophy for the season or your motto that you're telling the girls? You know, I think that, you know, we, we've gone in and, and you know, we, you know, thinking throughout the summer and kind of reflecting on our last, you know, my last three years here, um, you know, for us, it's no excuses. You know, mm -hmm. we're returning a, a handful of players. Um, and I would say probably, you know, um, a good portion of our team saw a significant amount of minutes last year. Um, from last year's team, we only lost two starters and uh, we graduated two starters. And then, you know, we graduated, a, you know, a back um, that played, you know, significant minutes. So, right. you know, we're not really losing a lot of minutes um, mm -hmm. per se as in, you know, the previous year where we were honestly, I think we lost like 10 starters. Yeah. Um, you know, we're turning a, a big group with a lot of minutes. And so, you know, our, our really our model going into this year is no excuses. And, um, you know, the girls that definitely have high goals and, and expectations. And so that kind of went in, in hand with us saying there's no ex excuses and there's no excuses you know, why we have an off day at practice or, you know, we, we come out unfocused. And, and, you know, so far through preseason, we've done a great job of that. You know, the girls are really working hard. Um, it, it's been a great team chemistry. Um, so I think that, you know, from that standpoint, you know, we're heading in the right direction. Um, and, you know, honestly, you know, we're really excited about this upcoming season. So That's good. So talking about the leadership, I know you guys do not have captains. You yes. guys have leadership committee, which is yes. something that I never heard of, but I think is really unique. So for the people who don't know what it is, kind of what it is and how do you pick the girls and who are a new part of the leadership committee? Okay, so, you know, my first two years here, we had captains and we also had a leadership uh, committee. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we kind of went through everything, um, you know, I would say, okay, girls could vote on the leadership council or committee and it was one member of each class. Mm -hmm. And then I would pick the captains. And yeah. so I was like, you know what? It's, it's kind of too many chiefs and, and, and not enough workers in there. And so yeah, yeah. Um, after year two, I, I, you know, I pulled, the, pulled them in and I talked to the team a little bit and I said, ladies, listen, we're just gonna do it with captains this year. Mm -hmm. So we kind of take what the players are saying and you know, kind of who we feel could um, kind of be a leader and not just somebody who wants to be followed, but right. who's gonna make those tough decisions and you know, kind of hold players accountable. Um, you know, so, you know, for our leadership council, um, last year in the, in January, you know, we brought Hannah Ward on as our leadership, yeah. one of our leaders. Um, so it kind of gets that, that second semester, that freshman year, that person who we really want to join that, that council to start to see some leadership. And, uh, right now it's, um, Hannah Ward, who's a sophomore, um, uh, Miranda Miracle, who is a junior. Uh, Caitlin Morris, who's a junior, and Val Otterback, who's a junior. Okay. Um, they have been tremendous. Um, I could not ask anything more for them. Uh, they really have the pulse of the team. Um, and, and really, when I need them to step up, they step up. Um, you know, we've asked, again, we've, we've put a little bit more expectations on our leaders this year, and, and we've told them they need to hold their teammates accountable. And, right. and our expectations for our leadership council is they need to be, um, we hold our expectations for them just a little bit higher as well. So we talked a little earlier, 13 new girls, Yes. six graduated, yes. kind of, can you talk to us a little bit about team chemistry and let's get into the positions a little bit, especially in the defense? Yeah. You know, a lot of re returners there. Right. So, um, you know, we have 13 newcomers this mm -hmm. year and, and they've done a great job, I think, of acclimating to, you know, learning our system and, and, and you know, getting in with the team and, and we do, you know, our first four days four days of preseason every night they're doing some type of team bonding event oh, cool. um, and and really why we do that is we want them to get away from the field and get to really know who each other are um, you know not just you know it's Caitlin Harris from Las Vegas or it's Tatiana Garcia from Las Vegas or um, you know Kylie Davis you know and we're from Ohio and, and so it's you know really we want these kids to get to know each other um, know what, what, what they like, what they do off the field, what their major is, what they want to do when they grow up, um, you know, and really just get to know them because, again, we talk about with our team, it's, it's a family. And so 
um, you know, knowing a, having a family and getting to know those individuals, it's, it's the most important thing because when we step out on that field, you know, you got to know what gets your teammate upset and make sure you don't say that, that, that phrase or that word or that tone. Um, but no, they're doing a great job. They're coming in, they're working hard. Uh, we had a few that had to, had to retake their fitness testing this morning. They all passed it. So, you know, we're definitely heading in the right direction. Uh, tonight we played Geneva College for our first uh, scrimmage of the season. And, uh, you know, we're really excited about being able to face somebody new tonight. So in goal, I noticed uh, Sam Hudson is coming back, second mm -hmm. team on NCAC, Allie Green will be here, but you also have two new goalies. Correct. So can we see some things shake up in the net or well, what you are know, you I, thinking? You know, I think that, uh, you know, Allie definitely, um, last year out of preseason, she wasn't our number one, Sam was. And, you know, Allie came in and, you know, really was focused. She wasn't happy about it. Yeah. Um, but the, the one thing, you know, about Allie is she's not somebody that's going to, uh, really let that define who she is and and she went out and was second team all conference for us and 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 I think she's she's earned the right to come into camp as the number one um, it doesn't mean that it's been locked down yeah. but she's definitely um, you know tonight she'll she'll start you know start tonight's preseason match uh, followed by Sam Hudson who you know is right at her heels clipping along and yeah. You know, um, I've known Sam for, I think, since she was in seventh grade. So, wow. um, you know, I think that uh, from that aspect, you know, Sam's definitely going to not, not quit and continue to push Allie, which is the best thing for Allie. Okay. Um, and I pulled Allie in in the off season. I just told her, you know, my expectations are, are higher now for you. And um, going into her junior year, I think she's really going to start to hit the prime of, you know, her collegiate career over the next two years. And honestly, I, I, she's an exciting kid to watch back there. So... Um, but again, we have two, um, you know, incoming freshmen, uh, freshmen, Michaela and Moore and, uh, Kat Lillibridge. Um, both girls are definitely competing, um, you know, and they will see time throughout the preseason. Um, but I think both of them are probably about a year away, um, from really challenging for that number one spot. So. Moving on to the freshman presence. I noticed you have four or five freshmen coming in for the midfield. I know you have one senior, but the rest of them are kind of young. So. What we'll see there? Yeah, again, I think that uh, for us, you know, um, you know, Sam Miner is is, yeah. is pretty much um, you know somebody who 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 earned that opportunity to start preseason as as our you know the number ten, which is our attacking midfielder, mm -hmm. um, and she's she's shown great. She's definitely matured over over the course of uh, twelve months, yeah. um, and you know we're expecting big things from her. Um, but even, you know, again, we go back to, you know, no excuses every day. We're trying to get better. And, um, you know, she's definitely got people clipping at her heels. And so, you know, um, you know, it's, it's just every day is going to be a battle for her. But, uh, you know, you're going to see, um, you know, probably over the course of, you know, our, our two preseason games and probably the first um, handful of uh, regular season games, you'll see, you know, kind of a mixture of um, Sam Miner, uh, Jessica Smith, uh, Lauren Caldwell, and uh, freshman uh, Kylie Davis kind of wrote in that rotation of the uh, of the midfields. So, so will Jessica Smith do forward and midfield again this year, or it, that's definitely a possibility. Okay. But you know, the big thing with Jess is um, you know she's very fit, she's very strong. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing we asked for her to do, you know, over the off season and and really over the summer was you know really start to watch. You know, become a student of the game, get a lot of touches on the ball, and and so far she's done a great job. Everything we've asked her to do, um, you know, she's done. So, um, you know, I think you can kind of see a combination of a couple of different players, and I think um, you're going to see a lot of different type of uh, different style out of us this year, and um, you know, just because of you know our our different skill sets that we're going to be a little bit a uh, little bit more um, creativity, a little bit more creativity this year. Will we see that in the offense with the offensive firepower with the young girls coming in too? Or? Yeah, I think that uh, this is by far the deepest uh, that we've been up top yeah. since I've been here. Um, you know, and, and again, we, are, you know, last year we had Sophie Bell playing in the midfield yeah. and we're shifting her up top. Um, to me, I just, you know, Sophie is a freshman. She was, she was a really good winger and, you know, suffered a couple injuries and then we suffer, suffered some depth. And yeah. so she's just a versatile player where we said, listen, we're going to need you to play all over. Uh, for your sophomore and junior yeah. year and you know this year I said to her I said really we're gonna look at you up top and 
Um, so we're looking at her up top with Hannah Ward returning, um, and obviously Courtney Wendell as well. Right. But then we've got you know our, our newcomers coming in, uh, Caitlin Harris, Tatiana Garcia, um, and and Caitlin Chavez. You know they're going to see some time up top as well. Um, I think you could potentially see Jess making you know potential move up there, okay. um, but I don't think it's going to be something right away. Okay. So um, you know so with our back four. Um, you know, we're actually moving Val Lauder back from our holding mid position to a center back this year. Okay. Um, and so I think with her and Emma at, at our center backs and, and moving moving Amber Baker out wide, I think it's just going to make us a little bit more, um, you know, organized and explosive coming out of the back. So. All right. Well, thank you, Coach. I appreciate no your time. You can catch the soccer team. They'll be in Texas on the 31st to kick off their season. Then they'll return September 5th to face Heidelberg at Charles A. Henry Field at 7.30 p.m. As always, you can follow us on social media at Hiram underscore athletics or online at HiramTerriers.com. Until next time, go Terriers. <laughs>